Are we alone in the universe? This question has captured our collective curiosity for as long as we can remember. Over the centuries we've gazed upon the night sky, pondering the possibility of other life forms. We've sent numerous missions into space, seeking signs of life beyond our own planet. However, as we reach out into the cosmos, we're confronted with a challenging truth, the universe's enormity. It's vast beyond comprehension. Consider this, traveling at light speed, it would take 40,000 years to reach Andromeda, our nearest galactic neighbor. Yet, Andromeda is but a speck in an unfathomable sea of galaxies. There are an estimated 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe, each potentially teeming with countless stars and planets. Thus, the sheer cosmic scale poses a significant challenge to our quest for extraterrestrial life. Moreover, the tools and technologies at our disposal, impressive as they are, still have their limitations. We can only explore a fraction of this immense cosmic tapestry. This restricts our ability to fully comprehend and traverse the cosmos. Could it be that we're simply not looking in the right places? Or perhaps our methods of searching are not sufficient? These questions continue to challenge astronomers and astrobiologists as they relentlessly pursue the truth. The universe is so big in fact that it's entirely possible that there's life out there that we haven't discovered yet, simply because we haven't had the time or the means to look everywhere. Another reason we may not have encountered extraterrestrial life is because of the notable Fermi paradox. This paradox, bearing the name of the highly acclaimed physicist Enrico Fermi, raises a complex and often debated question. Considering the vast number of stars which by default suggests a high likelihood of planets and therefore habitats for life, we are left wondering why we haven't discovered explicit evidence to validate the existence of extraterrestrial life forms yet. Puzzling over this paradox, various theories have emerged to explain this conundrum. Some suggest that civilizations elsewhere in the cosmos might self-destruct, falling into a cycle of development and obliteration before they are able to establish a form of interstellar communication or contact. They could be annihilating themselves through internal conflicts or misuse of technology, thus preventing any chance of the other hand. Other theories propose an entirely different scenario. They conjecture that advanced civilizations, possessing highly developed technology and knowledge, might be deliberately avoiding contact with us. They might be observing us from afar, choosing not to interfere with our evolutionary path, or they could be hiding from us due to reasons we are yet to understand. Regardless of the theories, the paradox remains unresolved and continues to intrigue scientists and researchers worldwide. While we may have yet to witness undeniable proof of extraterrestrial existence, the quest to unravel this mystery continues. Advanced civilizations might be avoiding us intentionally. Then, there's the theory of the Great Filter, a concept of fascination for both scientists and laypeople alike. This captivating theory suggests that during the progress of any civilization, there lies a massive obstacle or filter. This so-called Great Filter is posited to be a challenge of such magnitude that clearing it proves to be incredibly difficult, perhaps even insurmountable. This hypothetical filter does not discriminate, it could be any cataclysmic event from the horrific aftermath of a global nuclear conflict, the ravages of an uncontrolled pandemic, even up to the widespread devastation caused by an environmental disaster. Each one of these possible scenarios carries the potential to derail the path of evolution, setting any civilization back, or even wiping it out completely. The implications of this theory though are both intriguing and unnerving. If this theory is indeed a reality, it unsettlingly implies that we, the human civilization, have either successfully navigated past this filter, or we are yet to face it. If we have indeed tackled this mammoth obstacle, it could potentially mean that we're among a select few, perhaps even the only civilization to have crossed such a hurdle. But what if we haven't encountered the great filter yet? This implication is shivering, as it suggests that our collective journey in the quest for extraterrestrial life might be doomed to hit a sudden dead end. If it's the latter, well, our search for extraterrestrial life might be cut short. Scientists have been investigating the concept of extraterrestrial life for many decades. The curiosity of what exists beyond our planet has stimulated the human mind for ages. As part of this cosmic quest, a noteworthy organization, the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, also known as SETI, plays an instrumental role. They are exclusively devoted to searching for signals that could potentially originate from other civilizations. 
SETI has been diligently monitoring the universe for these signals for over six decades. Their state-of-the-art equipment is constantly tuned into the cosmos, seeking any form of communication or sign that might suggest we are not alone in this vast universe. Their tireless work however has yet to yield the proof they seek. The skies above remain silent, devoid of any signs of other life. Parallel to SETI's endeavors, NASA, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, has also been fervently searching for life beyond the Earth. NASA's approach is more tangible, as they've dispatched numerous rovers to our neighboring planet Mars. These robotic explorers comb the Martian surface, seeking any signs of past or present life forms. NASA's extraterrestrial quest doesn't end with Mars. They are also gearing up for future missions aimed at the icy moons of our solar system's gas giants, Jupiter and Saturn. These celestial bodies are believed to have subsurface oceans that could be potential environments for life to flourish. They're planning missions to the icy moons of Jupiter and Saturn, which are thought to have subsurface oceans that could harbor life. The quest to uncover signs of life beyond our planet is a multifaceted enterprise that tests our current understanding of the cosmos. Its complexity is evident in the sheer vastness of the universe, spanning billions of galaxies each filled with billions of stars and potentially habitable planets. We grapple with enigmas like the Fermi Paradox, which questions why we haven't detected any signs of extraterrestrial life despite the high probability of its existence. Also, the hypothesis of the Great Filter posits a daunting scenario, a barrier that prevents civilizations from colonizing the universe. These hurdles, however, do not deter the tireless efforts of scientists. Rather, they fuel our relentless pursuit of knowledge, our yearning to explore and understand the cosmos. Guided by the poignant yet profound question, are we alone in the universe? It's a question that may never be definitively answered but one that will undoubtedly continue to captivate us for generations to come. As we continue our quest to peel back the layers of the cosmos, we must remember that the journey to discovery is not a sprint, but a marathon. It's a testament to our species' enduring curiosity, resilience, and desire to comprehend the bigger picture. Despite the daunting magnitude of the universe and the complexities of the Fermi paradox and the Great Filter, we remain undeterred. The question, are we alone, continues to echo through the halls of science, resonating with our innate curiosity and drive for knowledge. Our search efforts are a testament to our collective will, to not just seek answers but to question our place in the universe. As we gaze into the cosmos, let's continue to question, to explore, to learn, and to dream. For it is in the pursuit of the unknown that we truly discover ourselves. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to subscribe to the How to Why channel. Stay curious, stay informed, and remember we are all stardust, forever bound to the cosmos.